let's have a look at the heavyweights, starting off with Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Javel Big Baby Miller. Interesting matchup this, a kind of indirect relationship with Jarrell Miller supposed to be fighting AJ on June 1st, 2019. Failed multiple drug tests and Andy Ruiz stepped in, beat AJ and become unified heavyweight world champion. Changed his life because he made millions and millions of dollars. Whereas Joe Miller went into the wilderness for a bit, got banned, then he's come back and they're both meeting again. What's interesting is that even though Miller had that drug ban, he's actually had double amount of fights that Andy Ruiz has since the AJ fight. Andy Ruiz has been really inactive. He's only fought twice since 2019. And I think that this is gonna play a big factor into this fight. Big Baby Miller, 333 pounds he weighed in for his last fight. And he threw over 40 punches per round. Unbelievable stats, you see like some welterweights that don't throw that many punches. And the amount of pressure that he was applying to Dubois, looking at that first half of the fight, thinking Dubois was gonna come unstuck, but Dubois' strength, speed, his power, and his resilience is what got him through that fight and ended up getting that late stoppage. Miller, he might drop down a little bit of weight after that fight. He might have thought, I uh, did gas out towards the back end of the fight, so he might look to come in a little bit lighter, but I can't see him going anywhere lower than 300 pounds. And Andy Ruiz is a smaller heavyweight, comes in quite heavy, but has he got the strength to keep off a 300 pound heavyweight that's punching over 40 punches around and constantly applying that pressure. And with the Dubois fight, Dubois landed a career highest 208 punches. Miller took a lot of damage in that fight. That might show that Miller has an unbelievable chin that Ruiz might not be able to, to break, or that might have taken a lot of damage going into this fight. So it makes it really interesting. Andy Ruiz has been really inactive. His last fight, was over two years ago now against Luis Ortiz. And in that fight, his punch output averaged just 23 punches per round. So almost half the punch output of Jarrell Miller. He won that fight against Ortiz. He got a good knockdown, but it looks physically hurt at times. It looked quite passive at times as well, looking for that rest. Miller isn't gonna give him that rest. And with the inactivity, with the size difference, I am favoring Miller in this fight, which is going to be an upset. I looked at a poll the other day that looked at Ruiz Jr. 89% people voted Ruiz Jr. to win this fight versus Big Baby Miller 11%. But I just think that looking at the data, looking at the weights, looking at Ruiz's inactivity, I think that Miller's going to take this one. Interesting clash of styles. If Andy Ruiz turns back the clock and has got a performance in him like he did on that night, June 1st, 2019, he should win this fight. But if he comes out like he did against Ortiz two years ago, I think Big Baby Miller will apply too much pressure. He'll be too big, too strong. I think he'll get the win. He's starting to score the big punches, Sergio. Yeah, and short shot right, right there, the perfect shot. It was a right, right uppercut from that foot. That's the perfect oh, shot when I was, I was getting tired yeah, to try to hide in that little spot. Oh. Little spot. Miller's finding a hole for that right uppercut right now. 